Okay, so here's the deal. If you didn't know already, the beautiful Tracy Ellis Ross would like to be a part of the magical school bus franchise. You know, like if they were to put out something new, she would like to be Miss Frizzle. Now, how do I know this? Because there's a picture of Tracy Ellis Ross as dressed as Miss Frizzle and it says the magical Miss Frizzle. And what Tracy said about it was, so I heard on the Twitter that y'all want me to play Miss Frizzle in the Magic School Bus. Well, I say yes. I'm into it. Who's writing? Who's directing? Keep the ideas coming. I'm all ears. Awesome and adorable fan art by at Ray, I don't know, Raviari, I don't, Ravi, Ray, I, I don't know how to pronounce the name. But anyways, yeah, I posted a picture on my blog, but here's the thing though. Now, at first, I was like, yeah, that'd be tight. Tracy Ellis Ross as Miss Frizzle from the Magic School Bus. That'd be freaking awesome sauce. And then I thought about it, and I was like, no, that wouldn't be a good idea. Not because of her, but because of her ass. Yes, Jesus, the ass is too fat to play that role. I mean, she need a sofa as the driver's seat in the bus. That ass would turn the magical school bus into the magical school butt. And imagine all little white boys that would be turned out. They would have to go marry a black or a mixed woman <laughs> after seeing that ass. <laughs> it, would, it wouldn't be right, y'all. It wouldn't be right. But you know what's so funny, though? Ironically, I fantasized about Tracy Ellis Ross being my sex teacher on numerous occasions. Ironically. And, you know, uh, that, I know that may sound crazy, but that I've, I've actually had that fantasy. Uh, that, that's what I, I, I don't know. I, I just imagine Tracy teaching me new things, things that I, that I didn't know. I mean, I had a, <laughs> wow, I, I was really feeling her ever since she was on Girlfriends. That's when I was introduced to her. And I was like, whoa. And I saw all that, <laughs> I saw all them cakes, you know, and everything. You know, I was like, damn, she could put Sierra Lee out of business with all that cake, you know. Shout out to Persia White. I know she has nothing to do with the story, but she's fine. She's a fellow far but fine ass Redbone. And um I know I don't know how to act as a light skinned woman in the room. Uh but anyways, y'all, uh, what do you guys think about Tracy Ellis Ross playing that role? Do you think it would be a cool idea? I think it'd be awesome sauce. I mean, she's beautiful and she got a big old ass. You know, but anyways, um so I you know, I, I think that it'd be nice to look at, I mean, for me, but uh, these little boys, I mean, it's, boy, they lose their goddamn minds looking at all that. They'll be like, you know what? <laughs> this is too much. <laughs> the mother would be like, okay, don't watch this scene. She's <laughs> she's walking by. <laughs> There's a side view of it, you know? <laughs> like <laughs> The moms would be covering their eyes like, heffa, hurry up and turn around. <laughs> you know, <laughs> should turn these boys out. Um, but anyways, yeah, let me know what y'all think about it below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google+, Meat Magazine blog and Instagram. Be sure to hit that notification button. It's right next to the subscribe button. It looks like a bell. Once you click that button, you'll be similar to be notified when the videos get posted.